Hey guys, this is Mei Mei. I'm my trusty sidekick. Old Vinny's here. Old Vinny's in the house. Shannon will be back. She is not in here just a second. Um, the glasses must go so I can see the screen. <laughs> they just live on my head more than anywhere else. So, I want to make sure my mic's going. I can see it. Is your mic going? What does that mean, going? I think it's going. Last week I got started and then everyone was like, I can't hear you and I don't want that to happen again. But also I don't want to spend a lot of time doing that. So, so this, this week, I think it was this week, we had a visitor in and we were talking about papers that are hard to use. Like, um, there are a lot of people, and you may be one of these people, you can say, and by the way, there's no right or wrong way. So this is not, um, this is not to be polarizing, but there's a lot of people who feel like if you're a card maker, you would only use six by six paper or cardstock. And then there's a lot of people who love these beautiful, and I'm using Mente because I think it's a great example, but it's not just Mente. There's a lot of papers out there that have beautiful pages, and then you buy it and go, I don't know how to use this. And then it ends up sitting in your stash, and you look at it and love it, but really I think you could use it. Now, I've done this video a long time ago. I want to say I did it, gosh, when we first moved here, way, way long time ago. But um, this particular subscriber that came to visit said, I've never seen it. And I thought, maybe I need to do it again and let everybody see it. That's so, my favorite paper pack I so think we've ever had. This one? Well, then, yeah. So we're doing a mystery card. But here's the reason. So many of us, not just you guys, all of us, kind of lock up when we see these beautiful papers and we think we have to use it in a certain way. Well, I want to show you how this technique works. Hey, hey, Miss Joan. Oh, I saw her Hi, name. Miss Joan. She's on here. Hey, Miss Joan. Um, so many of you kind of lock up when you see these beautiful pages and don't know what to do. And when I was showing the subscriber that was here the other day, I literally saw her light bulb go on and I thought, I want to do it again in case you've missed it. So if this is a replay for, it's not really a replay, but if this is a re uh, use of this technique, just know, I think it's important for people to see it. So let's talk about these papers. First off, you just, you just have a hard time finding prettier paper than Mente. I mean, you just honestly do. Not, not quality paper. Mente paper is beautiful quality, and there are other quality papers out there. And you guys know me. I have my favorites, and we use them in all different kinds of ways. And I've been branching out with papers, too, because I want to give you guys more options. But these papers are so gorgeous. They do come in 6x6. Six six. They are available. But I want to show you when you get these 12x12s. 12 let's look at it for a second, okay? So here's the front page. Here's your cut aparts on the back. This is a great paper pack. And I'm also using this paper pack in this time of year on purpose. Not all paper has to be used at Christmas or at fall. Sometimes they come in that paper pack, but Shannon and I can tell you when we're making samples, you'd be surprised how many times we pull from a fall pack or a Christmas pack or Valentine's a Valentine pack. You'd be surprised how many times there's papers in there that work. So like this one, for example, this page is stunning. But if you look at this, you feel like I can't cover any of this up because where would I put anything? It's absolutely gorgeous. We're going to use it today. I think it's a good one. This is an easy page. You know what to do with wood grain, right? So I bet a lot of you guys, if you're a person who doesn't like to waste paper, rather than using this side, you would use this side and be happy about it. Now, look at this one. This would do so good. I may, do, I may cut a bunch of them. Look at this one. So good. Even this side, and I'll show you when we cut it, even this side works for this technique. I don't know how it works, but it works in this beautiful paper. So we'll use those first two pieces, but I'm just going to flip through and show you. This would be easy. We'd all know. Turn that into a background. That's super easy, right? This one would be stunning in this mystery style we're going to do. This page is pretty easy. I would use this as a scrapbook page and put a photo here. Like Some of them are that way, but I'm going to show you this technique today because I do not want you... Well, what happens is, and, and, you, and you really have to do this, what happens is we see this as a whole. You know how we're always talking about think outside the box, think outside the box? The problem is when the box is a 12 by 12 and the box is laid out for you, you feel like you have to use this this way, right? But you don't. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take my trimmer. I'm using my 13 inch trimmer. By the way, I need to tell you all really quick because I heard Vince talking earlier. Um, the sale, we still have the sale going on, and you don't need a coupon um, for it. It's just 20% off the usual suspects is what we're going to say. And so I know, like, these items, our trimmers and stuff like that are 20% off. But I know that he was saying that um, it may be ending. I don't know. You were saying that a lot of stuff is sold out, so you may end it till we get a new, I don't well, know. Well, 
no, I'm not going to end it because we got new stuff coming in tomorrow also. Okay. So um, I just want to, you know, be patient if, if something that you're looking for is out of stock because we had an enormous amount of orders on um, Tuesday when we started the sale. And then we had quite a few orders again tomorrow or yesterday. So um, th there may be a lot of stuff that's sold out at the moment, but it'll be coming back. Just be patient. Now, let me show you this, okay? I want to cut card mats for this, okay? So I want to cut four by five and a quarter mats, all right? If I do this with this beautiful paper facing up, I'm going to struggle. Let me show you why. If I put this at four and a quarter and I go to cut it, there's a chance I'm going to cut in a place I don't want to cut and, it will, and I will struggle, okay? So here's how we're going to get off the struggle bus. We're going to make sure our paper is the right orientation, so I've got it up and down. We're going to turn it over. This is the 13-inch trimmer, by the way. And then we're going to cut without looking, okay? I'm not going to look at the other side. I do know that my orientation is right. I'm going to be making portrait cards. So that means, oh, that's not them. Can I have one? She, Shannon's back here getting my bases ready, y'all. There's what? all but one. Everybody needs a Shannon. So I'm going to be making portrait layout cards. I know I do. Okay. And because of that, I'm making sure that my cardstock is in there correctly. I'm going to put this on four and a quarter. Actually, not four and a quarter. I'm going to put it on four. I'm going to put it on four. I want to cut these four by five and a quarter. So I'm going to put it on four. Okay. I'm going to cut one strip, and I'm not going to look. I'm going to leave it over here. This takes the pressure off. I mean, there's, you cannot stop yourself. You do not know what you're doing. You're like, I don't know where I just cut that. I know there was a deer on that side. I may have just cut. I may have just cut through him. I don't know. We'll see. I may have just taken part of his little head off or something. All right. So I've got them all cut. I want to remember my orientation. I'm going to turn them, and then I'm going to cut them to five and a quarter. Now, this also leans into one of my favorite techniques, which is let the paper do the work. I like to let the paper do the work. I'm very much about that. All right. This feels wrong, but it's okay. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. All right, these pieces right here, I can use these pieces this way or the other way. I'm not turning them over yet, okay? <laughs> I'm not turning them over yet. I can use this way or the other way. Let's go ahead and cut this page, or should I? No, I'm not going to cut this one yet. I'm going to reveal this one first. Here's what happens. You just got to trust this process, okay? Not looking. We're going to bring out our card bases. How many did I cut there? Six? Uh, yes. And you made six? Oh, I don't know if you cut six. I was going to say, you have six. I think that was six. All right, I'm going to bring out my card bases, okay? Are y'all freaking out? Nope. Sometimes I freak out a little bit. All right. But the world will end if I don't look, says Andrea. <laughs> All right, let me say this to Never. you. You can do, I will allow you to do this. I will allow you to flip one over and look at it before you glue it down. Look oh, how stunning that is. How pretty. Look how stunning that is. You would not have seen this if you were looking at the whole page. That's what's so cool about it, right? So I'm going to glue this directly down. The reason I said I would allow you to flip it over and look is if you just don't like it, you don't have to use it. I'm not going to look. I'm going to glue and trust. I do not know how this method works. I do know how it works. Let me tell you how it works. Have you ever taken a photo? You ever taken a photo? Uh-huh. I have. Okay. Photos don't grab everything and put it into a frame. Photos take a picture of what it sees and then it cuts off wherever it cuts off. And for some reason in our eye that in our mind that works. Just like this. I can't see the whole flower. But because it carries off, I think to myself, I know it exists. I just can't see it. Right? But you can't do this when you look at that. Is it making sense? Because mm -hmm. you're looking at me like yeah. You've lost it. I think it's neat. I'm not going to look. I'm just going to glue. Y'all, look, that's trust in the process. Has anybody done this? Has anybody tried it? That's what I want to know. Look at this one. Look at this one. Look Barbara at that she's deer. Out just a little bit. Look at that deer peeking out. Now I know. I'm going to have the other part of his body somewhere, and I may not like it, but it might be cool. I do not know. But look how good that looks. Be honest with me. Would you have said, I can get this card out of that paper pack? 
You know what I'm saying? I mean, probably not. No. It's hard to, to vision that. Mm -hmm. um, Belinda asked a good question. Does barely arc glue give some more wiggle time than AGG? Here's a, no, it doesn't. Now, some people say it does, but let me say why they say that, okay? Because I don't want y'all to be misled. Either because you use too much or because, and this is the truth, Barely Arts nozzle is different than AGG's. Like, if you're using their nozzle that comes with it, it's a little bit roomier, a little <laughs> bit bigger hole. Okay, check it out, guys. Bless There's you. the deer bottom. You can't even see it. The, I don't have a clue what that is. I see the bird. You know what I'm saying? I'm still getting to use it. I'm still getting, that's a perfect way to put it, Kim. You couldn't see the forest for the trees, like literally on this page. So gorgeous. So far, so good. Let's see what happens. I promise you, I promise you, if you will go through your paper and find the pages that you said, I don't know how to use this, just try it. You got to bless you there, Shannon. Thank you. You probably don't get a bunch of them. Yeah. Thank they you, usually thank you, thank bless you. us pretty good. They bless us all the time. Look at that. Bless me. <laughs> Look how gorgeous that is. Oh my goodness. This is, and also you guys, this is an instant note card set. Instant. One piece of paper, six bases. Instant note card set. Somebody asked me the other day if I make my envelopes. I wanted to go ahead and talk about that real quick. I do not. I've never been one for, I have the envelope punch board, all that kind of stuff. There is the rare occasion where I'll make an envelope to match something if I just really want to be extra. I do not. I just buy my envelopes. Look at that one. Would you have laid that out like that? I just don't believe we would have. I just don't believe. I just don't think we would. And when I saw our customer the other day, her eyes light up because I showed her. Actually, we have, I'll tell you all something else we do, and you'll like this too. We have some pieces pre-cut in our store. So if we want to teach somebody how to make a card, we took pages like this and pre-cut them. And so what I did was I took them out of the pre-cut and I put them back together on the table and showed her how it was a puzzle. And her watching it come back to life and realizing what it was before we cut it was really cool. Look at that. That's stunning. So let's bring them back over. So from that piece of paper, okay, we created, and we're not done. We have to put sentiments and stuff too, right? But look, and the paper has done the work. Would you love to get this as a card set, as a note card set? Would you absolutely love to get this gift? I'm looking at it on the monitor and it's stunning. It is. This paper pack is called Woodland from Mente. Now what I'm going to do is attempt to put it back together. I want you all to see how it, where it came from. Yep. I don't know that I can. I think that was there. Yeah. Let me get I say, you're screen. cheating. You started with the deer. Yeah, I had to do something. I think this goes here. You had to start putting your crossword back together. Nope. One way or the other, huh? Here, here, and here. Is that right? Yeah. So there's our page. How much do you love this? How much do you love it? Honestly, it's so cool. Actually, I think I have these switched. No, I don't because his hiney's right there. So I'm going to come back. We'll talk sentiments in a minute. We're going to talk sentiments. So I wanted to tell you this. That's another thing we've done is we pre-cut some pages, mystery cut them, and we put them into a stash. So when we need to make a card over in the store, when somebody comes in and we're teaching them how to make a card, we can just literally reach up and grab one and it works, right? So if you have some pages that you want to use up but you don't really need them today, you don't want to make cards today, go ahead and cut them up, put them in a container. It's time to make a card. Grab one out and use it. It's a mystery card. I promise you'll love it. Now, y'all want to see this one? I think this will be stunning. I think this will be so gorgeous. And on this one, I'm going to cut it facing up. I want y'all to really freak out. What do you think if we cut it facing up? Cut it. I think it would be very different, right? I think that you guys will be like, <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this paper, this cardstock, and I'm not, you know what I'm looking at? The measurement. I'm going to look at the measurement and find my blade and watch. Ouch. I'm not looking. Y'all can look. I'm not looking. Four inches. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you just... I'm not looking. Y'all can look. I want y'all to see how it works. I'm trusting the process. Five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. Look at them cringing. Oops, I didn't go all the way through. I'll have to do that one again. 
Did I go all the way through? I don't think I did. Five and a quarter. said you're living on the edge. I am living on the edge. Living on the edge of this tremor. <laughs> there, it's therapy. You know what? It's therapy to do it. It's so fun. Here's one of the things I really like about it. It takes the pressure of designing off. How many times do you start to make a card and go, I wouldn't even know where to start? How many times would you say, I don't know where to start. You go to Pinterest. You get some ideas. You go on YouTube. You watch all of Maymay's videos. That's the only ones you need to watch. Then <laughs> That's all I watch, Maymay videos. And then you're like, I don't know where to start. I don't know what to do. Look at, th oh, look at that one where that fox is looking up. Willow said she's glad she took her blood pressure medicine. <laughs> this is not laid out right, but look at those beautiful backgrounds. Let's put them on cards. I think this is such a great way. It's such a great way to make cards. One thing I'll show you, let's look at this one. Because you probably saw that just then, okay? Let's say there's more graphic here than at the top. Then when you're cutting it, just make sure that you do your, you get this piece instead of from down here up here. Make sense? I think it does. I'll let that one sit. Yes. All right, let's put these on some bases. The base fairy dropped off these card bases. Hi, I'm the base fairy. She is, and I'm going to put these on white. And you know why I'm going to put them on white? Because I also want you to see. That's what the Ooh, base look. fairy cut. Look at the back. <laughs> well, I also, well, we, we chose craft and white. I, I also know. want you to see what white does versus craft with the same paper pack. And oh, here's yeah. what I mean. I didn't cut them. No. This pack is so bright. It plays with light in the images. And sometimes when you put an image on craft, like I'll show you, the light, let me get one that's kind of lit up. The light won't be as obvious on craft. That's kind of an unfair comparison. Let me do this one. Sometimes the light won't be as obvious on craft as it is on white because the white plays with the light. That's a good image there on camera. You can see it. You can see the light, but here it's like the light travels in. Right? So cool. I love these things. Now, I'm going to flip them and look. Okay, that's solid on that side. The only thing you have to make sure of is you've got things cor the correct way. This acorn is telling me which way to put this. I really wish I would have uh, refilled my glue bottle. Do I need more glue? I might. I don't know how long that's going to last. Have more glue. That's really, really Scratching at the bottom. Up. Really at the bottom. These are really cute. <laughs> this girl ended up in corner. He said, oh, look at that, though. That's the back side. Isn't that pretty? So I like this side, though. You're going to refill? Shake it really, really you good. Got to, that one's a little old, so shake, 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 shake. Did I tell you I finally used up a 16-ounce bottle, and I've been doing it for years, and it still works just fine? Look at that card. That just looks like a fairy, like a not a fairy princess, but like a fairy tale kind of fairy tale. Uh -huh. Little fairy. My glue was taken. The, the glue fairy took my glue. So look, you could use this side, but that little fox. Oh, so cute. Here we go. Yeah, the white is really bright, isn't it? Oh, you're, uh, Sherilyn's doing it with graceful. You know the graceful paper from Mente? Oh, I bet it's gorgeous. Pretty. You guys, please put pictures on our customer gallery. If you don't know, thanks, Shannon. This is great. I have glue now. If you don't know, our customer gallery is at maymaymadeit.com. And when you make a project, we want to see it. And so if you'll share it over there, um, we can get inspired. And more than that, if you need inspiration, there's over 2,000 posts. It's like the ending of my videos. There's over 2,000 posts over there, so if you want to be inspired and see what other people have done, go check it out. It would be super cool. Taylor refilled my glue yesterday. It's nice having a full glue it's bottle. It's nice to have a full glue bottle. Really nice. This is awesome. Rhonda, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Read what Rhonda said, please. Ooh. I think you just rescued a bunch of my hoarded papers from obscurity. That is exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to do that, and I also wanted to, to dispel the myth that you have to use smaller patterns and you have to use six by six for card making and stuff like that. You know what I'd really like to do? I've I got time, don't I? I do. I'd really like to cut these into mini slim lines and see what they look like. Oh, that'd be cute. That's going to be interesting. I'd like to try that. What do y'all think? 
I like Go it because I like a mini slim line. All right, check it out. Really quick though. All right, I want to do the mini slim line, but I'm going to talk sentiments with you really quick because I know if I leave you at this, you'll be like, but what if we, what sentiments should we put on? Okay, so you have some options, all right? One option is to get your stamp sets, like for me, um, we have like birthday sets and sympathy sets and things like that, and just go ahead and make several, let me find one. I'm sure I have a scrap in here somewhere, so I'll have to cut it. Go ahead and make yourself some sentiments just on a scrap of paper. I don't have a scrap. How is that possible? Let me cut this really quick. So let's say we cut this down to an inch. And you How would you do it? Uh, they're asking you to, yes, do that, but then they're saying make a scrapbook page too. How would you do it? I mean, because it's a scrapbook page 12 by 12 already. Yeah, I, what's the question? Like, what do they mean by scrapbook page? Maybe we can clarify. So cut yourself some strips, right? Like this is an inch and then stamp it with your stamps, and then ribbon tail the end. And all you do, all you do at this point is foam, foam dot this up, and look what you get. You get a sentiment on this beautiful card, just like that, and it's just a note card. Isn't that awesome? That's one way to do it with your stamp sets. Here's another way to do it. I think these are fantastic. These are those wordies, okay? And what you do with these, I don't want to spend a lot of time on this because I want to show y'all. I want to try mini slim line. Um, what you do with these, you get four sheets in here. You get so many sentiments, okay? So I'm just going to pull out. I think I'll pull out the white. So you get four sheets. They're all the same, but there's four. And what you do is you put these in your trimmer. I'm going to trim this down a little bit. And then you trim it down again. And then we're going to cut this off. I'm going to take Be Happy off. You can use that sentiment. I'm going to use this one. Cherish every moment. Because I think it's really pretty. And then I'll show you. So you get all of these, all of these, all of these, all of these. It's a lot. So then let's say, let's say you do this one. I just picked one up. I didn't pay any attention to it. And you add cherish every moment with that little deer. Look how pretty that is. So easy to do, right? You could put it at the top, in the light. You could put it in the middle. You could put it on an angle. So easy, y'all. So easy. This is a card maker's friend. Let's try Slimline. Let's try a new paper pack. What do you think? Oh, I need Slimline cards, don't I? Sorry, Jenna. Did I just oh, mess you up? Nope. Um, Not at all. I love this paper pack. Do you pack. want white those... ones? Yeah. Oh, we could do this with Mama Razzi. Let me get that. I know I have Mama Razzi right here. Or I say I do. Let's now that I think about it, I don't, do I? It's up there. You just need white 12 by 12, I guess. We don't have any that's in here. Hard do you see Mama Razzi? Right there big. it is. See it laid on the second second rack? There it is. Let's use Mama Razzi for the slim lines. Okay. So slimline papers, yes, and they're foldable. Everybody points that out. I always forget because I don't, I don't do laminating full. So yes, they are foldable. This, uh, the wordies are. Okay, so slimline's a little different. The piece you need for slimline is two and three fourths by five and three fourths. Am I right? I think so. Two and three fourths by five and three fourths. So let's find a good page in here in the mama. Ooh, this is a good one. I bet this would turn out cute. And. Let's just do that one, because I like all the graphics, all the images on there. So something a little different. And I'm gonna cut the bottom off. Shannon, that trimmer, wait, no, you're good. This trimmer right here needs a new blade. I accidentally used it on tipboard the other day and it did not love it. It didn't land, it didn't do well. I killed it, that's what I did. All right, so two and three fourths by five and three fourths, but I gotta pay attention to the orientation, so I need it to go this way. I'm not gonna look. Let's just see what we get. I've never done the mini slim line. So let's just see what we get. Two and three fourths. Do y'all think this would be a fun in-person class to give everybody a different piece of paper? And see how they And just out. see what, what happens? I think that'd be fun. Where's Kim? Kim, that might be one of your classes. That would be really cool. 
whenever you're cutting card bases. Uh, okay, I have a strip. I'm just going to set that aside. Then what I'm going to do is cut these guys down. Somebody said cut the middle out. So if you're going to cut the middle out, oh, that would be a little difficult for me. Well, no, it wouldn't. Let me show you. Okay, so if you wanted to leave the middle, what I would do, this is my orientation. Yeah, that's my orientation. So I would go, I would go five and three-fourths here. And then flip it around and do five and three fourths. That's how correct. I would do it, huh? If I'm not mistaken, that's correct. And that's taking the middle out. Takes the middle out, yeah. So let me do that again. So here's I have to just check my orientation. All right. So I will cut this side at five and three fourths. So these are that way. Then I'm going to flip this and cut it at five and three fourths, and that's taking the middle. We'll just see what happens. <laughs> Sherilyn says she hasn't looked, but she's giggling because she's shaking. I understand that. I understand it. We're not going to look at these until we, till we're ready. We'll see what happens. Any questions you can answer while we're waiting? Oh. How many do you have? No. I want to say eight, but I think it's more than that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight cards from one sheet. Isn't that cool? Sorry. Oh, making a background with different parts of the of the page for scrapbook. Yeah, that'd be cool to do that. I'm a person. As much as I like the paper to do the work here, I also like it to do the work in my scrapbook pages. So I would just take those as my background and decorate my book. Does that make sense? Like I would use those. All right, let's see what we got. Here we go, here we go. Um, okay, so this one is going this way. Why is it going that way? What did I do wrong? It doesn't matter, we can go that way. No, it's printed all different. Look, those numbers go that way and the words go that way, so I'm just gonna pay attention to the words. We're gonna put it this way. Or I could use this side as a background. You could do whichever side you want. And don't panic. Y'all are going to be like, this didn't work. Yes, it did. Just wait. I'm going to show you. Just don't panic. Who's panicking? That's beautiful. you got to trust me. And I just want to make sure my um, font is the right way up. Way up. The most obvious font, I would say. Because that other one is like the numbers on the negative. Do Rachel asked how long, how often do you scrapbook? Never. She I'm, is. I'm not a scrapbooker. She has big talk. I, I used to scrapbook like, I used to, I think I scrapbooked when I worked at the craft store. I think I had to do paint layouts. And then my aunt got into scrapbooking pretty heavy, and we were, I forget what company we were buying from back then, and we were doing, getting together and doing scrapbook pages then, and then the only scrapbook, if you want to call it that, I'd put quotes around it, that I do now is like whenever I do the single page to go in the frame, but I rarely scrapbook. I'm, I'm just not a scrapbooker. I'm a mini album maker. I do that. I love my mini album. Is that considered scrapbooking? I think it might be. My Downton album was the last one I did. I'd say you scrapbook. Look how cute. Ish. I would say mini albums are sort of scrapbooking, right? There's three more. Thank you, Shirley. What'd Shirley say? Why panic? It's just paper. That's exactly right. Don't panic. It's just paper. KC said, I just got here, so I'm not panicking, but I am confused. Hey, do we have the um, cut aparts for the mente in here? For the mamarazzi, I should say? The ones we're using in Lisa's class, they're so cute. I may have some. I don't know if I do or not. Because they would work really. This is so pretty. Turn it this way. No, I don't think I am. Right, memories. Jen said many yeah, albums with those. pictures are scrapbooks. They are scrapbooks. Well, I do that. So I do that quite often, actually. Oh, she's saying building them without pictures doesn't count. I have to put the pictures in them. I've been very diligent with putting my pictures in, and I'm loving it. I'm loving it. They're so fun when they're done. So fun. 
I'm ready to put pictures in that thing I did. Oh, I get to show them that this I afternoon, know. don't I? Oh, I'm excited. We're going to show you all the sample for the class we have coming up. And there's still I'm tickets excited. available. It hasn't sold completely out, so that's good. I'm excited. Tickets? Tickets? Kids? Tickets. <laughs> what am I? What are we don't doing? Don't forget your tickets. What, what, what was that? Back at the carnival. I'm also going to show you how to use something else we don't ever know how to use. I'm, I'm less likely to use these, so I'm going to show you. Speaking of carnival, how many days This is the left? last one I need, by the way. Oh, so you didn't need to? Oh, I'm not telling you the truth. I do need to. Uh, so you said eight. That was only six. That's I, like, seven. I like to keep you on your toes. I kind of count. But I'm more standing on my feet than my toes. I love this one. This is cute. Cute. That's so cute. This paper pack just screams Lisa. Every single time I look at it, it's Lisa. Except that cat needs to be a weenie dog laying on her laptop. But a weenie dog would not be asleep on your laptop. Lock if you're on your laptop, they want food. They're at your feet wanting food. <laughs> Some good white scraps. Good. You know I love good white scraps. I know a lot of people are like, oh, so many scraps. Not me. Nope. I love them. I'm kind of excited about them, too. Okay, look. This one, I'm going to bring it up. This can just get a sentiment. That's oh, perfect. That's, that's so cute. Precious. Love that. This just gets a sentiment in the perfect spot right here. This just gets a sentiment. So cute, right? This could just get a sentiment, but I'm going to yeah, do something else. Very cute. This could just get a sentiment. The camera's laying this way, okay? That could. I think I'll let it. This just gets a sentiment. Look how cute that is. Love it. These I'm going to do the other treatment with. So you know how whenever these paper companies bring out... Um, all these little cut aparts. This is a great place to use these. I'm just gonna pull out some, like so, put them right here. We won't mystery this. <laughs> we'll actually let you look at these. Okay, so let's go. Oh, this is cute how it's hanging on her hand. <gasps> look at that right there. We'll put it like that and then just add a sentiment. That is cute. I would pop that up though. I would pop that one up. So guys, who, who can do math? You guys in the room that do math, Vinny? Okay. So 12, and was this eight? Uh-huh. Is that right? 12 and eight? That's 20. 20? 20. In 25, 30 minutes? Look how awesome that looks. Look at that. Then you just add a sentiment. That's just so cool. I love how this works. Let's get another one. Is this straight up? Yes, it is. Let's do, I love this camera. I love this camera. I kind of want yes, it here. Yes, the bridal pack would be a good oh. one for um, thank you cards. Yes, it would. Hey, guys, what if you did a mystery album? What if you took a, a 49 a Market album and you mystery cut the pages and went with it? I kind of have done that before. I kind of did it on a project. I might have done a mystery album. Did I do a mystery album, somebody? That would be cool. I think that would be really cool. Look, I'm going to put this one here. Add a sentiment. Another card. So cute. You could even add up here. Is there something I want to put up here? What does this say? Aw, oh, photos. But that's not for a card. You could add florals to the top and bottom. You see what I'm saying? I'm not going to add those because I don't know. What I didn't even pull everything out. Because there's more words in here, too. Let me get the words. These are more about scrapbooking, I think, these words are. I love this. These cameras, I just love them. I just love them. All right, so who's already got plans? Who knows what they're digging into? Who knows what they're making? Tell us what it is. Vinny, share what they're saying. Okay. Let me know what you're going to be doing mystery style. Oh, uh, let's see what they're saying. Did I do a mystery one, Timothy? Heidi, that's correct. You cannot use your stamp club discount with this sale. I'm sorry, headphone users. All right, let's put these away. 
Uh, the pins from Art Gooder Glue are on order. They should be here within the next day or two, I would think. First part of next week, for sure. I love these pre-cut pieces. Oh, I love them. I like those. The, the, those are, like, completely um, edge-free. Like, you know. Look, you guys. Flush cut. Yeah, I love them. No no white edges. Yeah, that's it. I can't get Look, my words to come out. Cherish every moment. How beautiful. Look at this one. Cherish every moment is a sweet sentiment for graduation. Explain what mystery style means. Not we looking have a at a new watcher. Okay, so a new viewer. The beginning of the the beginning of this video I talk about how we cut the paper from the back side and we don't know what we're getting. That's what we did with these cards. We cut this paper from the back without looking. I, yeah, I did on these. I did yeah. So we cut these without looking and we get what we get. You get what you get and you don't pitch a fit. That's what this is. That's what I should have called this. Get what you get and don't pitch a fit. That's a southern thing. Do y'all say that in your in your world? I want these to lay a little flatter so they can see them. That's the only, this is thick cardstock. What is this? Not this is not not your mama's. It's something thick. Uh, Kim, it will depend on where you live. That's um, what we had over there. Whether art glitter glue can be shipped <laughs> to you had. or not. As long as the temperature between me and you is above 40 degrees at night, I can ship it. You guys, we just made 20 beautiful note style cards in 30 minutes. Roughly. Roughly 30 minutes because there was some chatting so, done. Tamitha said not a true mystery album she just did not pay attention to what pattern she used was that 49 in market was that the one i did for downton i would like to do a true mystery album i would like to take one of the 49 in market classic albums i would love to but y'all bought them all so i can't <laughs> and what what's the measurements for a slimline card six by six piece of paper okay however okay. there for are us <laughs> we do them Six by three, that's what we do them. A lot of people and a lot of companies use a different size because it goes with their dies, etc. But for me, this is a paper saving way to do it because the other way you don't save as much paper. I want And it's even like an eighth or something. I used to have it written, I don't anymore. We just take a six by six piece of paper, fold it in half, and we do have envelopes. See if we have a box we can show them which one they need. There are envelopes to fit these. There are envelopes to fit them. You just need to get this one. And I get them on Amazon. And I, um, you need to get the one that's called, or not not that's called. You need to get three and five eighths by six and a half. It's a little roomy. It's a little roomy. But for me, I'd rather save paper. Um, well, if you do this size, a three by six, you can take a six by six paper pack and just cut a sheet in half. Yeah, and just put fold it, it in half. Front. See, it's a little roomy, but I don't stress about that. That's not bad. I just love that I'm saving, that I'm using, you know, one sheet of six by six paper as my base. This is Shannon's favorite. You'll see it in the reveal video today. Um, really cute what she did. All right. So if you're new here, I want to let you know that after this show, we have something called the Crafter After Show, where we answer questions, talk about things we did today, talk about things that happened in the week. We usually have a little story for you. And today I have some other stuff to tell you and something really cool to show you. Don't miss yes. it. Don't miss it. Don't we've miss got it. a we've got something coming up you're gonna like. Got a lot to talk about. So Tamitha is going to link in the chat right here the link for the after show. Um, Kim asked when the sale's over with. Um let's say Monday at close of business. Yes, these are mailable, Barbara. I did a video on these, if you want to go check that video out, on um, mini slimline cards. And I, I think I even pulled out my, my mail chart and showed them in that video. All my video, look, I've done a lot of videos, and they are starting to blur together. The older I get, the more they blur. <laughs> it's like, I'm sure I talked about that somewhere. <laughs> um, but, yes, they are mailable. I I said that. These are just, um, somebody said these were check envelopes, like they used to be the old check envelopes. Yeah. I think Didn't something. somebody say that the other day when they were in? I think so. These are number six and three quarter. That's what they're called. Six and three quarters. So, yeah. Sounds like they, a Harry Potter thing. It does. What was that? I don't know anything about Harry Potter, but platforms, I know the platform was... Something in three... I'm not a... Yeah. I, I don't know. I just know it's something three quarters. My sister watched. Monica, thank you. Don't forget, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and also help me reach my big goal this year of 400,000 subscribers. You guys are doing awesome, by the way. We're almost to 326,000. I think we're like... 300 subscribers away from 326, so we're, I'm hoping we get there. I want to have a big, humongous 400,000 subscriber giveaway, and if you know my giveaways, we go wild. 
So please do. I'm waiting on, oh, there it is. I was waiting on the link and it's already there. Okay, there's the link to the after show. We're going to end this one. If you'll go on over there and start chatting, we'll be there in just a few minutes. See you in a second.